You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. The click will blow. I ain't talking fast. You're just listening slow. So chess. Just, just, yo, this is gonna be a funny day. I, everything that I'm seeing have me laughing, and it's a good day, man. I hope everybody's doing good in their own personal lives and things like that, man. Strive, strive to do better. No matter what your situation is, you can make it better. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're alive, as long as you're still breathing, as long as you're around, you know what I'm saying? You got a chance to, 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 to level up, to continue to do what you're doing. And speaking of leveling up, man, yo, chess is in his bag. Now, if, it, if, if what he's doing, First of all, the music was fire. Uh, he did the, the Set the Tone record. That was one of the better disc records that came out. And now, like, he's been one who hasn't really been known for a social media presence. He has an Instagram. Uh, he don't really be on Twitter like that. But this is a part of the game that some battle rappers don't understand is you gotta be, like, around. Like, unless you super, super up there, like, even you see Loaded Lux, he's been tweeting. Loaded Lux has tweeted, like, probably every day this week, whether it's, uh, it's a video he's promoting or whether he's got something going on or whether he's talking about the record. If you're not around, it's you kind of, like, you don't really be known until your battles go like that. You got to have some kind of a presence because that keeps people talking about you. That keeps blogs going. That keeps the algorithm moving when you're continuing to drop things and speak and go at people who's going at you. So I, re I respect the fact that Chess has been using his Instagram to t talk about different things that's going on. So I got a couple uh, of his gram posts from this week, you know what I'm saying? Because Loso and Easy the Block Captain was going back and forth about, like Easy was like, don't, don't get killed by Chess or our battle is never gonna happen. And then, you know, Loso responded and they was going back and forth. So Chess got a wind of that. And Chess was like, at Easy the Black Captain, you just got important, King. You ain't even no nigga to call shots. Loso, you better hope you even make it to known keep talking though. Like, and this is something that Chess in the past, he wouldn't have like, he would not have like saw that or got wind of that or even responded to it. Like this type of shit is the like, it would have been off of Chess's radar. He would not have responded to that. And that's just from being a fan and seeing how Chess has moved in the past. Then he um, put out there, oh yeah, Loso has a higher stock than Easy to Block Captain for a fucking fact. That's a fact, nigga, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? He's saying basically that Loso has a higher stock than Easy to Block Captain. And I don't think that that could really be argued against right now because Loso has, uh, Loso has done things in, in, in bigger scenarios. Like he's been on URL cooking Longer than easy to black captain, but this is the one that really, uh, that really, that really was funny. So, cake, that like I said, chess is not playing with the fact that easy to black captain is playing with his name. Don't play with my name, put some fucking respect on my name. And easy does what he do. Easy had everybody come outside, it was a thousand top tier remixes. I'm so glad that nobody else is jumping on the top tier beat. It's that, yo, yo if, if your niggas rap on that beat again. I don't be talking about it because come on, son, I heard a thousand verses on it. Let, let's, let, let's let it slide. But uh, this is the one that Chess kind of like really got off on. He says, he pulls up a battle to the trap. Salute to the trap. You know what I'm saying? No mercy and all of that. Yada, yada, yada. The trap, NY, it was, a, it was a very prestigious platform, underground platform that put on a lot of battle rappers. A lot of niggas went through uh, the trap, NY. Dot specifically. Uh, you had other niggas like Show Off, Excel, Jay Murder, Gems, and a whole lot of other niggas. And one person that was on there was um, Easy the Black Cat. He had a battle versus Dot seven years ago. Seven years ago? What the fuck? 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 Um, so Chess says, and I fuck with Easy, Easy my nigga, he just uh, actually texted me the other day, happy birthday, I fuck with Easy, you know this is part of the process, but anyway, <laughs> Chess says, this nigga, y'all call New Era, he was supposed to be in my class but didn't make the cut, so anything he accomplished nowadays wouldn't surprise me because he had a seven plus head years, seven plus year head start, you know how Chess be told, he had a seven year head start. 
um, against his whole class. Nigga don't get a pass like that. And y'all fucked up for acting like y'all really his fans. Easy, nice, but he just got ready. He ain't like been, he ain't, it ain't like he been nice. He just took the opportunity and ran with it as he should. But the puppet isn't pulling his own strings how he claims. Like Chess is basically, what Chess is saying in this is that uh, Easy the Black Captain is acting like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a long ass paragraph. Just believe what I say. Um, he's basically saying that Easy's acting like, and I feel like, He's saying Easy the Black Captain is acting like this is some grand scheme of things. Like he's just thrusted himself into the spotlight. He's going to be on bigger stages, getting bigger battles. But he's like, the nigga been sitting for seven years. Shit, anything that goes on with this nigga right now should be happening. You know what I'm saying? Like you can flex your muscle, but you've been around too long for the hustle. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, he's like, Chess is like, he's basically pulling the wool over your eyes because nigga been around forever. He just never graduated. So it's kind of like... A nigga went into the NBA draft, didn't get drafted, went overseas, played some ball over there, played in the Rucker, went through the G League, and now he's in the NBA, and he's dog-walking rookies. He's like, he's supposed to be doing that shit because he's been around for seven years. Um, They're going to have to battle. Easy to block having versus Chess should happen. Uh, I, I say if Chess, he's got Loso. If Chess... Does good versus Loso. See, battle rap is not all about winning. Y'all should know this. We've been doing this for a little while now. Not seven years like easy, but he's been doing this for a little minute. But battle rap is uh is not about wins and losses. It's about, you know, raising the stock and the pendulum and continuing to have good performance. Because if you have a good enough performance versus a nigga, you don't really got to win. As long as you do good, you're going to continue to be moved on and on, but if you get smoked, that's where, that's where it gets a little, get a little foggy there, once you choking and stumbling all through your shit, and if you show star power, there's some niggas who got mad potential, but they don't have star power, so a nigga's not really gonna book them, and then it, t it comes with what they doing off the court, like nowadays, the battle rap shit, it's a whole business, you see certain niggas who got podcasts, got YouTubes, got merchandise, Got they battling, they got leagues, they doing shit on small leagues, you know what I'm saying? Taking little battles every now and then on small leagues, battling niggas on their own league, helping build their platforms. That shows a whole person perspective. Then you got other niggas who only just battle. They only battle when Smack pick up the phone and call them. Now, if you a star like that, there's certain niggas who could do that. But there's a lot of niggas that once they not battling and they not active, you don't even remember them. You like, yo. Oh shit, damn, I forgot so and so ain't battling in eight months. But he ain't got no merchandise either. He ain't putting on no music either. He ain't got no YouTube channel either. He ain't got none. Like, and it, all it takes is, it is not the greatest scheme in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I came up with merchandise, and my merchandise does very well, but it's just off the strength that I'm talking about battle rap. I'm not even fucking battle rap. I just talk about this shit, and it moves. So, who's everybody supposed to merch right over fucking right, 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 Make sure you go get some shit. But, um, you gotta, you gotta kinda like, find a way to separate yourself because there's so many people that do the same fucking thing. You know what I mean? Niggas talk about battle rap. It's, it's a thousand niggas blogging about battle rap, but it ain't too many niggas that's doing these numbers right here. And that's what sometimes that agitates people. And you know what I'm saying? That's the reason why you should see it. Like, yeah, we leave everything public for you to see. Subscribe account, view account. Watch all that shit. Likes, dislikes. Watch, watch it all. You know what I'm saying? I hope you get indigestion from it. But anyway, um, this nigga chess is in his motherfucking bag. And I appreciate that. I really like the fact that he's gonna be out. If this is what is this is the chess we gonna get, but the battles have to translate. Like that's the one thing. You can talk big shit, talk heavy, heavy Chevy, but if the battles are not equaling up, it's all gonna be hyperbole. You know what I'm saying? Like you have different rappers, they put out a stat yesterday with the niggas who ain't never won on the URL app, and it's mad niggas that ain't got no wins. Like, they've been losing every single battle. Like, you can't lose all your battles, then get mad when people treat it like, when fans treat it like, when bloggers treat it like, yo, you getting dog walk. Yo, your shit is not like that no more, my nigga. What the fuck is going on? When you lose every battle. Like, if you losing all the time, 
You got to win some. Like I said, winning is not everything, but you can't lose everything either. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. You got to you gotta have a mix. It's good to win, though. It's good to be a winner. You know what I mean? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. But, uh... Was it a dead man? Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, man. Watch all the blogs, man. I definitely try to keep y'all entertained. I'll be back with my guy Showtime. Let's pee in a couple months, you know what I'm saying? Like, we we, we definitely working. And um, I appreciate all the support, all the love, and all the admiration. And like I said in the beginning of this video, man, there's a lot of people out there who want to do certain things with their life and shit. Motherfuckers want to go back to school. Motherfuckers want to blog. Motherfuckers want to... Um, start a company, start a business, and you know, I ain't the type of person that's gonna be like, yo, here's the whole business plan, here's your LLC, I can't, I ain't all that. But what I can tell you is it starts somewhere, like you gotta just start. You wanna blog, you ain't got a camera, use your cell phone. If you ain't got a cell phone, get a cheap camera, get a light, get a backdrop. This shit costs like less than $100. Like you gotta invest in yourself though, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the biggest thing, the first investment is in yourself. But uh, you know, we'll talk some more. But chess, I like this. Yeah, 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 easy, easy. Seven years, my nigga, what the fuck you been doing the last seven years, my nigga? God damn, bro. I wasn't even bad enough seven years ago. Nah, I'm fucking with you, man. Keep doing your thing, easy. Gangster.